Davis, how, how was the, the first, you know, six days of, of camp been, and specifically working with, you know, such a stacked uh, defensive line? Yeah, it's, it's been great. You know, um, I'm still adjusting to this Louisiana heat, but, you know, everything's been great. You know, Coach Nielsen does an amazing job as a coach, you know, and uh, he really simplifies things so we can play as fast as we can, as, as physically as we, as we can, you know. So it's been great, you know. And then just jumping over to the other side, um, just the talent, and the versatility of, of the offensive line, the guys are going up. Yeah, the guys have been really good. Uh, one person that has uh, really stuck out for me is Caesar so far. I really like how athletic he is at the offensive guard position. You know, he uh, he forces me to really be on my P's and Q's each and every day. So it's been great being able to go back and forth with him. Can you elaborate a little bit on like how he does that? Is it how he uses his hands? How he moves? You know, um. For me, as a defensive tackle, it's not so much hands; it's the athleticism. You know, being able to move lat Ooh, sorry, <laughs> being able to move laterally and uh, really force me to, you know, turn my hips, make my shoulders turn. You know, beat his hands and his feet. You know, so just being able to have that total package is it's, it's really rare to find that in a guard. Did you feel like there was a, a, a real opportunity here? Is that kind of like one of the things that? That brought me here? Oh, most definitely. And just the fact that Coach Nelson's here, you know, um, him, just us having that history going back all the way to college, he's, he's really known me since I was 15. And I know that he can get the most out of me as a player and as a person. So just knowing that he was here and just knowing that he's been coaching these guys, having a top five defense the last five years, that, it was a no brainer. So when you look at the guys around, it's kind of crazy what a star stuck through it is. Around you. you ever kind of look around and go, wow, there's a lot of really good players around me? Oh, no doubt. Um, I, I think this is a, one of the best defensive line rooms in the NFL. You know, uh, coming here from San Fran, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. There's no drop off in talent. So just being able to be around that and be able to bounce ideas and take these off of each other day in and day out is really good. Is this your, speaking of Nielsen, is this your first time working in a defense that has a co-defensive coordinator structure? How has that been for you in terms of any differences that you might have experienced thus far? That's a great question. Um, it's This is my first time dealing with that. And it's a great thing because coach, you know, with a lot of defenses, the D-line coach just knows what the D-line is, go, is doing in that particular play. But Coach Nielsen knows what the secondary is doing, what the linebacker is supposed to do, and the D-line. So just having that complete total knowledge when we have like a if and or but with a play and him being able to answer us right then and there is, is just really great because we never going to feel having doubt of what we're doing like we know what everyone's doing on the field and, and when are the times that you most come in contact with Chris Bouchard with uh, Chris Bouchard oh, the, uh, who's the, the other co-defensive coordinator along with Nielsen or do you mostly focus still with him? mostly with Nielsen yes yeah. yeah. sir he said you know him since he was 15 yeah so he he uh he recruited me coming out of high school so from my sophomore year all the way up to now, I've been talking to him. How crazy is that it's come full circle? It's crazy. It, it really is. You know, uh, when he left state to come and coach here, you know, I really thought that was going to be it. But now to be at a pro level and him coaching me again, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. Does anybody even adjust growing up? Obviously, you're responsible for a play here that agrees. Did anybody talk about that when you signed here? To, you know, bring it up, mention it anyway, offensive lineman? Or Players. You know, surprisingly not. You know, uh, I, I think, uh, you know, us playing this really physical game that is football, you know, it's, it kind of comes with the territory, and it's very unfortunate that that happened at that time, but uh, we, we haven't put heads about it. Yeah. You, you and Caesar haven't talked about it at all? Nah. Uh, Sean Tuttle was out here yesterday, and he mentioned you being sort of bringing this twitchy, athletic brand of play to the position. Is that something you feel? that you bring to this defensive line unit so far? Um, you know, I think that that's somewhat my role, you know, just to bring a little bit more athleticism to the position. You know, we have guys that are outstanding in the pass, outstanding in the running, guys that are also well balanced. You know, it's just, I guess, yeah, I guess you can say something unique that I bring to the table. So, yeah. Has that always been something that has been kind of unique for you on defensive line? Yeah, I can't say that. You know, uh, it's it's been a blessing of mine. You know, God blessed me with tremendous athletic talents, and I just I'm just very fortunate to have the platform to to express them. Yeah. Thank you, man. Y'all take care.